Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com, and you're tuned into another special Afterthoughts video um, just for you guys on Patreon. And I've got some things that I'm going to be covering that only you guys are going to have information to. This is stuff that I'm not putting out there publicly, but it's just for you guys listening right now. So, first thing I want to cover actually is. Um, Going to be starting giveaways, um, and unfortunately, it's just going to be for the people that are Patreon followers in the continental United States because of um, the cost of shipping. Number one, I mean, for example, the cost of a mug uh, for me costs fourteen dollars just for an extra large mug to be made, not including tax and shipping to be sent to me, and then I have to send it out to whoever, which is an additional, you know. Eight dollars uh, through the U.S. Post Office. So already we're looking at twenty-two dollars. That's why you know I've been asked, do you sell the? So, you know I don't think anyone wants to pay, you know, twenty-four bucks for a, a mug. Uh, so I, you know, I'd feel horrible charging somebody that much, but I will give it away, and um, <laughs> it would cost an additional probably thirty dollars, you know, fifteen to thirty, depending on where I'm. That's what makes it, you know, possible for me only to allow this um, kind of giveaway for the continental United States, and that'll be for my Patreon followers of 555 or more. So I'm thinking about doing this maybe every other month, maybe giving away a t-shirt or um, a, a mug or whatever, you know, just some fun stuff to show my appreciate appreciation to you guys. So, and that being said, I just want to, you know, congratulate Gina Guccione, the winner of my pendant, uh, my other pendant that I was um, wearing, and that fell off one day on my lap, and it was a sign to give that away, so I figure, okay, well, why don't I just start doing this anyway, just start giving stuff away to you guys uh, to show my appreciation. Overseas, you know, I, I hope you you can understand. You know, it's it's just it costs a lot of money just to send stuff. As a matter of fact, I had one person. Um, they they were from Canada and uh, they gave me their address and I sent it there and it got returned. And it cost like thirty dollars for me just to send it that box to Canada. And they're wrong. And I tried contacting that person again to explain I haven't heard from that person back so you know <laughs> I, I just can't I honestly it's just I can't afford to be one way and just to have it returned uh, especially for something small like a mug or a t-shirt or something like that so so I'm just going to keep it in the continental United States and uh, we'll just do giveaways like that for those qualifying Patreon uh, followers and thank you everyone though um, from the bottom of my heart for helping uh, me out through uh, Patreon. Much love and gratitude to all of you. Okay, so um, one thing I want to cover too. I was on um, today is I'm recording this on July 30th. Uh, it's been a relatively quiet month, so to speak, but there's a lot of things that are kind of going on behind the scenes that. You don't hear, hear people. Is I was listening to a video yesterday from James Gilliland, and he was saying how what they're doing is they're taking a compass, and well, this is a real compass right here, but they're also doing a on you know a virtual compass, and they're finding that there's a 20 degree difference or so um, with their, their compasses and. Um, their real compasses and like their online compasses and I did the same thing yesterday and I can't really tell from that video but I did the same thing yesterday uh, myself after I heard that I you know I, up, I downloaded a, uh, a compass app on my cell phone and I put them almost side by side because I didn't want one to affect the other but yeah even here in Florida there was a about a 20 degree difference um, between the real compass and my cell phone, which you know, if if you have any apps like Sky S K E Y E that you can look at the sky and 
it uh, geolocates your exact um, position on the planet. So it has that already there, you know. So there, there's concrete evidence for one versus the the other to show that there is some kind of whole shift going on. Now that being said, key in Florida on the Gulf of Mexico, and I have no fear. I I have no plans on leaving. I love it here. Uh, who knows, maybe what we're seeing right now, too, is the wobble going back to center. Um, but what I also found interesting, too, is on several videos throughout this past week, there had been recordings recently, numerous recordings of lakes and huge bodies of water just drying up. What if we're receiving benevolent help uh, from our galactic friends and neighbors helping to offset some kind of like tidal flooding you know scenarios i know here on siesta key our beaches are actually getting bigger um while on the neighboring island in lido they're actually getting smaller <laughs> so go figure um but I, I i don't sense any fear or um, anxiety over this i don't feel like there's anything bad about what's happening right now with the changes in the compasses and and everything that everyone's recording and reporting I just thought it was interesting that I would you know and interesting enough to pass that along to you and you guys might want to do your own research um, by uploading those apps and um, getting a compass for yourself and seeing what the difference is so another thing I want to touch on and what I'll be doing in a, in a few minutes, I'm going to be doing some card readings for you guys, uh, some personal card readings for my, specifically my Patreon followers. But one last thing I want to cover beforehand is there was um, some information that was put out, and it's been out for a while now. And it was about it was from Lisa Harrison about this one. I believe it's an AI called Lilu who said that the flash was going to happen today at now I'm in the United States it would be um, 1030 our time a.m. Um, and that's when the flashlight according to this AI that spoke to Lilu uh, spoke to Lisa Harrison this AI named Lilu said that that was going to happen today and you know that's when the shift was going to happen the event was going to happen and this and that and, uh, you know, of course, you know, I, 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 I love listening to other people's opinions. I love hearing, like, when people put dates out there, but I never take any of the dates seriously. 